Hi YouTube. Today I'm going to be talking about the Ordinary's Azelaic Acid 10% Suspension. Now, as most of you guys know, if you're looking this up on YouTube, this product is not available here in Canada. However, I was able to get my brother who went to New York to pick me one and I was able to try it and I really enjoyed my experience and I would like to share this with others and also I purchased it and got a ship to Michigan and I was able to go pick it up. So the one I have right now is a brand new one. I've already used a tube of it. This is what the packaging looks like for around eight US dollars. You get about, well you get 30 mils of product and This is a product that is made in silicone, so it has a very soft, smooth texture going onto the skin, and it feels really luxurious almost. But, you know, what I'm really interested in when I'm purchasing products, especially skincare products, it is whether it works. So I just opened, it has a very smooth, silicone texture. It feels very cooling almost. Not like a tingling cooling thing, but it, it does kind of feel cooling on the skin. It feels like I'm putting on something that is going to make my skin feel good. Like it has that feeling. Okay. As lake acid, as uh, you might know, is prescribed for people with rosacea or acne con uh, acne problems and although this is not available in Canada if you have a good health care uh, coverage um, you can get Phenacea which is sold at 15 and 20 percent here in Canada and I would suggest to go for that if you can't get a hold of this however I think that because it's at 10 percent and it's not at a prescription level concentration of uh, azelaic acid in this tube, you can't see any dramatic results in, in uh, skin texture or skin uh, pigmentation. So my inclination to purchasing this was because I struggle with hyperpigmentation and you know those uh, small like bumps and stuff from like either trying a lot of skincare products or just from I don't know just like monthly issues <laughs> so I've been trying this since July of this year and I found that what it works really well for is you know the bumps that you get like I get bumps on my cheeks nowadays and I think it does a really good job at dealing with those tiny red bumps that become like whiteheads it deals with it really well and in terms of hyperpigmentation, I think it can help heal the hyperpigmentation quickly. However, with the old acne scars, I think it doesn't make a dramatic difference. So whilst using a product like this, it's very important to have realistic expectations. I have mild acne and I think that because this is a acid that is a carboxylic acid and it's not it's not antibacterial the way a clindamycin phosphate is because clindamycin phosphate cannot be used long term this can be used long long term but again please do talk to your family doctor and, or if you have a dermatologist I, I talk to your family doctor if you want to use this at a prescription level uh, for long periods of time this is very versatile in its application so not only does it deal with acne it also deals with uh, some skin texture issues so those are the tiny bumps that I'm talking about uh, I wouldn't say that it deals with acne scars like the indentations but it does deal with healing acne marks a little bit faster than say you were not to use this now, I, I already emphasized on having realistic expectations. I think it's also important to know that 
this tube can get over very quickly because you only get 30 mils for eight dollars so eight us dollars so if you're in canada like me you're paying like 11. <laughs> I think price-wise, it's a really good price. Uh, however, because I, I don't have access to it, I do have to buy them sort of in bulk if I want to use it for a longer time. I think it's harder for people in Canada to have access to the ordinaries as a lake acid. It used to be available uh, here in Canada, but it isn't anymore. I would definitely recommend this for anyone struggling with mild acne and mild to a mild to medium hyperpigmentation issues. I think that it's important to use it for a long time in a gentle manner. So I use this after I wash my face, I moisturize my skin while it's wet with the CeraVe's like tub moisturizer. And after that dries, I put a niacinamide by The Ordinary as well, like a few drops, not a lot. And then I go on with this, and then I put the Vanny Cream Moisturizer. So I put like four things on my face after I wash it. So this and the niacinamide is sandwiched between two really good moisturizers. So it never caused any serious irritation for me in the beginning. I did start in a very gentle form and I still use it in that gentle form. So even now, even, even though it's November. I think that if you're interested in trying this, I would suggest using it every other day. Uh, mind you that I'm still using tretinoin I use that every other day. On the day that I use tretinoin, I only use tretinoin to sandwich between my tretinoin and niacinamide. So I swap out tretinoin for this every other day. And I feel that it has helped me a lot in maintaining a healthy skin barrier. Uh, along with tretinoin, these products work better to deal with hyperpigmentation and post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. As you can see, I have this <laughs> going on right now. So I, I hope that um, in a timely manner, this can deal with that. And I have not used this in the mornings, so I don't know how it would work with sunscreen. I don't wear makeup or foundation. I, I do use tinted sunscreen, like the Cetaphil one that I reviewed. However, I don't think um, I'm a good judge to uh, I'm a good judge to comment on how it works with makeup or how it works in the mornings. I've only ever used this at nights. Uh, that's all for me today. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.